this to commence business. Thank you, my able clerk. It has been reported a quorum does exist for the Standing Committee on Select Committee to start business. Those in favor, please say aye. aye. Those not in favor, please say no. The ayes have it. Um, thank you so much. Uh, first of all, I want to seize this opportunity to welcome uh, GRTS, uh, the senior management from the board chairperson and the entire team, the external auditors, honorable colleagues, the media, you are all welcome to uh, this presentation of the reports of the GRTS. On that note, I uh, extend my warmest greeting to all of you. Um, first, can someone move a motion for us to adopt the agenda? Okay. Any second? It has been moved and seconded we adopt the agenda with amendment. Those in favor, please say aye. aye. Those not in favor, please say no. Okay. On that note, uh, can we have an introduction of members so that we can know one another? I'll start with my humble self. I'm Honorable Lamin J. Sane. National Assembly Member for Birkama South, Chairman of this committee. Good morning to you all. My name is Honorable Billy G. Tunkala, the Majority Leader of the Parliament, as well as Vice Chairman of the Committee on Public Enterprise, hailing from Kampula Constituency. Yes. Good morning. My name is Ibrahim Ayao, and I'm senior committee clerk and a clerk of the committee. Good morning. Madam Chair. Uh, thank you, no, Honorable no. Chair and members of the Public Enterprise Committee, uh, members or staff of the clerk's office. Uh, colleagues from the Board of Directors of GRTS, uh, our external auditors, uh, our Director General, senior staff and uh, management of GRTS. Before your August committee to present uh, GRTS 11 activity and financial report. As you all know, this is an exercise that uh, is mandated by law, uh, particularly the Cooperation Act, but also our GRTS Act of 2004. It is part of the accountability mechanisms uh, that has been laid down to ensure that there is uh, an interaction between this August Assembly representing the people uh, and the public corporation. And GRTS is one of those that is providing public service as a public service broadcaster. That is why we are here today uh, to present to you our financial and activity report for further scrutiny. Uh, I'm accompanied this morning as the board chair uh, by members uh, ex officio members today, Mr. Seidi, uh, representing our line ministry, Minister of Information, Ms. Chilel Sise, representing. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, as I said, I'm the board chair. My name is Fatu Jain Senghor, and uh, I'm here with my colleagues from the board and our director general and senior managers. I will right away allow my colleagues from the board to introduce themselves, and then the director general, and then uh, the senior staff will introduce themselves as well. Thank you.
थैंक यू ओके Thank you so much for uh, that wonderful introduction. Um, Madam Chairperson, um, we are seated here for you to do a presentation of the activity report, financial statement, and the management letter from the audit firm. We are in receipt of all these documents with us. And first, before we go further, I think those who are going to do the presentation will be will take an oath an oath of affirmation so anybody that is going to do the presentation or somebody that is going to be uh, contributing to the presentation will be taking this oath that's supposed to be administered by the able clerk here so you can uh, give us the name that are going to be um, giving the presentation we'll go with you this thing I affirm that I will speak the truth, the whole truth, but nothing but the truth. So help me, Allah. I, Chile Sise, do hereby affirm that I will speak the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help me, Allah. I, Yang Basili, Hereby affirm that I will speak the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth.
Uh, thank you, Chairperson. This is not it. I think there were some technical problems last time. Uh, that was not a deliberate, uh, 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 they were not deliberate on our part. Uh, there was some misunderstanding when my uh, senior management came to, pre to you know, send excuses from the board because the report was not ready. That's why we couldn't appear. And apologies also for today. Um, thank you so much. Uh, on that note, you are also given a honorary title. As far as we are here, you are seated before the National Assembly member. You are also a honorable. Procedures is we start with the activity uh, report. I don't know whether you have a summary version of it or you want to take us through, highlighting important areas, after which we can go to the financial statement which the finance director will take us through. Then from there, we have the management letter and the management opinion by the uh, external auditors. So on that note, we can start with the activity. Uh, our finance uh, representative of the finance director will take you through the financial report as and then our auditors will take the floor later. The Board of Directors and Management of GRTS have the honor to present our... ...edition of such presentation, which began in October 2009 and will, as in all preceding uh, presentations, attest to yet another modest record of performance in the face of ongoing challenges confronting the national broadcaster since its inception in, two, in April 2004. We have, with considerable effort, continued during the year under review to make headway in some critical areas of operation in formulating strategies for the way forward. In the year under review, GRTS was not able to cover most parts of the country or abroad because of the absence of GRTS on satellite and the poor condition of our terrestrial transmitters. However, in June 2001, management using the institution's own resources put the national broadcaster back on satellite transmission after a long absence. This enabled Gambians both at home and abroad Twenty twenty or two thousand and one, sorry. No, this is this is twenty twenty one. Yes, sorry. However, in June twenty twenty one, management using the institution's own resources put the national broadcaster back on satellite transmission after a long absence. This enabled Gambians both at home and abroad to review our signal to receive our signals again and to be informed of developments in the country. In July 2021, this August National Assembly approved a $36 million C, uh, supplementary appropriation package for GRTS. This was designed to enable the national broadcaster to acquire essential equipment for effective coverage of the presidential election of December 2021. We are pleased to report that with that cash injection, management was able to purchase cameras, vehicles, a mobile studio, and new radio and TV transmitters for four of our stations. These are Abuko, Mansakonko, Bansang, and Base. This leaves out two other stations, namely Kaninlai and Kudang, to be fitted with new transmitters. In addition, realizing that there are no GRTS installations on the, on the whole of the north bank of the River Gambia, management would like to install new transmitters in Karawan and Kaur. This will help GRTS achieve nationwide coverage of our signals. We are pleased to report that with the equipment acquired from the SAP allocation, GRTS was able to provide unprecedented coverage of the presidential election, and we even received commendation from the public, political actors, and foreign observer missions. 
In almost all observer reports, DRTS was acknowledged for its equitable coverage of all political parties. We did the same for the National Assembly elections in March 2022. DRTS continued to make every possible effort to ensure the fulfillment of our corporate mandate as provided by the Corporation Act of 2004. Although financial, human resources, and other logistical concerns continue to pose serious obstacles against our many development strategies, the corporation has managed to consistently try to meet its obligation in delivering basic service and has significantly improved the quality over the recent years. It has successfully covered all major national events, no matter where they take place. We provided live coverage of the opening of the bridge and the market in Basse, and the launching of the OMVJ power system in Soma. While competition remains a challenge for both radio and TV as a result of the existing liberal market and the, uh, and the proliferation of private radio and TV stations, the GRTS management is putting in concerted efforts to implement carefully defined marketing strategies. In, in addition, the board and management are working to conduct an audience survey which will clearly show GRTS's position in the market. As the future of broadcasting tilts more towards the digital media, GRTS has set up an online content unit to increase our visibility on social media. We cannot end this statement without thanking government and the National Assembly for the SAP allocation to GRTS in June 2021, which came in very handy. On behalf of the board and management, we gratefully acknowledge such assistance by the government through our line ministry and we hope to, uh, to receive similar assistance in future to take the artist to the desired level as a national broadcaster and the leader in Gambian broadcasting. We are forever committed to serving the nation by providing relevant and informative programming in fulfillment of our core mandate of informing, educating and entertaining our audience, the Gambian people, who, uh, whether they are at home or abroad. It is also important to note that as part, of the as part of the national transformation agenda and reform of media laws, the Board of Directors and Management keenly look forward to working closely with government in ensuring that the GRTS Act is reviewed to enable the corporation to grow and sustain its development as a public service broadcaster. I thank you very much for your attention. Sections were okay. For now, do we get Okay. 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 So, so direct, direct procedure. Direct procedure. Okay. Okay. Uh, that was a summary of, of the report. Now we are going through the um, various reports created, uh, that was compiled by the various departments. Um, yes. Okay. 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 Yeah, sure, okay. Um, we start with human resources and administration. Um, as you know, of course, this department is, is responsible for recruitment, uh, promotion. Value our staff who work extremely hard, and as a result, we try to um, look for the best um, professionals to, so that we are able to perform well. Um, we, 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 we look for the best. We have a, um, a transparent recruitment system, and we are, we've been doing extremely well, actually, on, on this matter. 
marketing uh, marketing is actually a lifeline for JRTS basically. Apart from the GSM levy which we receive, um, marketing. Once we go out to look for uh, businesses that are willing to advertise with us. But of course, there, there are constraints with marketing. Um, yes? Okay. Okay. Okay, so. Um, yeah, page 11, um, this is, these are some of the issues that are actually hindering our marketing efforts, um, particularly when we are off satellite. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, we are now back on satellite, so a lot more people are able to see us. You, you, nobody advertises on a channel that you cannot watch. So that's why management made the effort to put the artists back on satellite. And with the SAP, with the SAP allocation, as, as I mentioned earlier in my summary, uh, we were able to buy uh, transmitters, so a lot more people around the country are able to hear us. So that is um, one positive uh, development for, for the marketing department. Yeah, the internal audit department is actually the one that makes sure, makes sure that we comply with all the, all the financial regulations. Um, yeah, that's on page 12, is it 12? Okay. Yeah, that's, that was page 12. Yeah, they verification of payment vouchers and they, they basically do everything. They look at our payroll. So that's the, that's the oversight department basically. Page 13, um, radio programs. As you know, GRTS is Gambia Radio and Television Services. So radio is, an, is a department of its own. They have two installations, um, one at Mile 7 and one at, um, in, in, in Basse. Um, but of course, you have the transmitters uh, across the country. So there is a, in, in page um, 13, um, they talk about the education unit because it's actually very, very important in, in, in our programming. In page 14, you have a list of the other programs that we do, uh, the other departments we do, talks, religious, and cultural programs. News and current affairs is actually the backbone, basically, I can say that, of our, of our programming because people listen to radio or, or tune into JRTS and because they, they want the news. And we uh, have become, as I say, the, 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 the voice of credibility, basically, when it comes to So when people, people tell you that if I don't hear it on JRTS, it's not true. So that, that shows how important our news department is. On, page, on, on point three, four, page 15, there is Radio Basse. Radio Basse actually, um, apart from relaying uh, programs from Mile 7, they also have their own programming, which is um, centered around, basically dedicated to people in the area. Um, and that's why they concentrate mainly on... on their, their programs, local, locally produced programs, are mainly in Sarahole, Mandinka, and Pular, because those are the most widely spoken languages in the region. And I want to say that with our recent uh, installation of transmitters in, in Radio Basse, we are getting reports that um, uh, people as far away as, Ang as Angola, Guinea Conakry, and Sierra Leone are actually receiving Radio Basse, which I think is a, is a good step. It's a step in the right direction. Now, page 17 is uh, television programs. Yes, television is actually very important. It's probably the biggest. 
the TV department, the programs department probably ha ha has to be the biggest in GRTS. And they have programs in all our languages. Um, during the year on the review, there was a lot of emphasis on COVID, COVID related programs. You know, because during, during the pandemic, uh, news and current affairs also did a lot on COVID as well as coverage of major state events. If I can step back a little to, to programs, um, during the um, past years, GRTS has uh, done a lot with sports as well, sports programming, because that's, that's very popular. And uh, during the past year, we covered the Afghan games in Cameroon, uh, as well as uh, we, we did a coverage of a match in, in Senegal with Gambia's match against South Sudan. Those are some, some major activities for, for, for GRTS. Engineering department, page 21. Um, yes, engineering is, 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 is really very, very important. They are the guys who run not only our studios, they are the guys who run our transmitters. You know, so it's, it's really uh, a very, very important part of the, of, of the TV, both TV and radio. And they have a group of very dedicated men who work day and night, irrespective of weather. We, we, we really appreciate what, what they've been doing. But of course, they have, we, have, we have issues, um, shortcomings that, could, that we need to address that will um, improve our performance, technical-wise. Page 23, Finance Department. Yeah. yeah financially, uh, we could do much better. I, I think that's, that's what, how I would summarize it. Uh, apart from the GSM levy and some funds we raise through marketing, I think it would have been difficult. So we are looking forward to uh, government and parliament um, giving us another supplementary appro appropriation which will help us meet our, our targets. proceed to the um, financial statement by the finance director. Good morning, honorable members. Uh, on behalf of uh, the board of directors of GRTS and management of the institution GRTS, I hereby present to you the financial statement for the year under review 2020. Starting with the income statement for the year. Uh, for the year 2020, GRTS are able to generate an income of 148 million 485,588 
as compared to 2019, two, two or two million. Can I observe, Mr. Finance Director? Yes. Uh, if you are reading these figures, just uh, summarize. Okay, fine. No, no, just put the um, current sheet there. Current, yes. okay. Because you are on life, and people outside there might know. But for us, I we know, know it's Dallas. But you have to mention the current. DMD, okay. Huh? okay. And the reflection of the page you are, the page number, right? Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, Able Chair. Uh, as I stated, the year under review, 2020, GRTS are able to uh, generate a revenue of 148 million 485,588 Gambian Dallas as compared to 2019 202 million 538,442 Gambian Dallas these are source a decrease in revenue for the year under review by 54 million, representing 27 percent. That is the total income. For the same year under review, 2020, GRTS have generated uh, have made an expenditure amounting to 127,127 million. 205,563 Gambian Dallas as compared to 2019 with an expenditure total of 136,995,101 Gambian Dallas. The same year, profit before tax is at 21,280,000 and 25 Gambian dollars. As compared to 2019, uh, 65,543,341 Gambian dollars. The same year taxation for the institution is 1,484,856 Gambian dollars. Yeah, this is uh, it's not minus, it's taxation. It's, it's less from the total profit before tax. So that's why it's in bracket. Yeah. As compared to 2019, 2 million and 25,384 Gambian dollars. Net profit for the year under review. 2020 is 19,795,169 Gambian dollars. As compared to 2019, 63,517,957 Gambian dollars. That is for the income statement for the period under review 2020. We move on, move on to the next uh, statement, that is the uh, financial position, we call it balance it. And then this. Balance it for the period, you can refer to ten. Yeah. page 10 of the financial statement, read the balance it as at December 2020. As for the year under review. As for the year under review 2020, starting with the asset part, under asset you have non current assets, they are in two sets. Starting with the non current assets, property, plants, and equipment, PPP, is 142. 142 million 199,342 Gambian dollars as compared to 2019 152 million 848,813 Gambian dollars current assets total current assets for the year is 65 million 116 
1,333 Gambian dollars here. As compared to 2019, 53 million, 808,522 Gambian dollars here. Total asset for the period under review 2020 is 207,315,675 Gambian dollars here. As compared to 2019, it is 206,657,335 Gambian dollars. Equity and liability. Equity, total equity for the period under review 2020 is 152,424,035 Gambian dollars. As compared to 2019, 153,000,000 million. 372,249 Gambian dollars. Non-current liabilities. Loans. Total non-current liabilities is 16,865,251 Gambian, Gambian dollars. As compared to 2019, 23,854,000 1,804 Gambian dollars. Current liabilities, total current liabilities is 38 million and 26,389 Gambian dollars for the year under review, compared to 2019, 39 million 430,282 Gambian dollars. Total reserve and liabilities for the period is two or two hundred and seven million three hundred and fifteen thousand six hundred and seventy five Gambian dollars as compared to twenty nineteen two hundred and six million six hundred and fifty seven thousand three hundred and thirty five Gambian dollars. The next page, page eleven is the statement of changes in equity for the year under review 2020. As at 31st December 2019 is 54,845,267 Gambian dollars. And as at 2020 for the year under review 31st December is 72 million 214,376 Gambian dollars. Statement of cash flow for the year under review. Operating activities, cash generated from operating from operations under operating activities total 16 million 222,000 219 Gambian dollars as compared to 2019, 7,784,911 Gambian money dollars. Net cash flow from operating activities is 11,722,219 Gambian dollars as compared to 2019, 2,784,000. 1,911 Gambian dollars. Investment activities. Under inve investment activities, you have net cash from investing activities is 8,489,164 Gambian dollars. As compared to 2019, 600, 6,447,522 Gambian dollars. Financing activities. Net cash flow from financing activities is one million two hundred and ninety thousand Gambian dollars for the year under review. As compared to 2019, one million three hundred and thirty-five thousand only. Net increase or decrease in cash and cash equivalent. Cast and cast equivalent as at 31st December 2020 for the year under review 2020 is 
801 Gambian dollars as compared to 2019 negative that is an overdraft of 1 million and 23,254 Gambian dollars. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate the presentation. Uh, now we can go to the external auditors. First, um, I think we have a formula. That the, the opinion. Then you go to the adverse audit findings, especially those that are high, highly risked. So I think that is the area that we'll be doing. And we, uh, Madam Chairperson, I think we don't need the management response as for now. But during the consideration, I think questions are going to be drawn in respect to the management response to look at it. Because these documents are going to be with us for us to go through them and come out with possible questions for the consideration and, if possible, for adoption. But I know at that time you will be at liberty to respond adequately in, con in respect to the question that will emerge from the members. So, can, thank you so much. Let's go to the... Okay, good. Put it off. Page six of the um, financial statements for the year ended. Go ahead. To the members of Gambia Radio and Television Services. Television services for the year ended 31st December 2020, which comprise of the income statement, balance sheet, statement of changes in equity, statement of cash flows for the year then ended, and notes to the financial statements, including a summary of significant accounting policies. In our opinion, the accompanying financial statements give a true and fair view of the financial position of the corporation as at 31st December 2020 and of its financial performance and its cash flows for the year then ended in accordance with generally accepted accounting principles, GRTS Act 2004, and have been properly prepared in accordance with Companies Act 2013. Basis of opinion, we conducted our audit in accordance with International Standards on Auditing, ISAs. Our responsibilities under those standards are further described in the auditor's responsibilities for the audit of the financial statement section of our report. We are independent of the corporation in accordance with the requirements of the International Federation of Accountants Code of Ethics for Professional Accountants, IFA Code, and we have fulfilled our ethical responsibilities in accordance with IFA Code. The financial statements are signed on page 8, DT Associates, Chartered Accountants, Registered Auditors, IG Penda Sankare was the partner, dated 5th of July, 2022. And my colleague Ramatullah will help me with the management. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, good morning, honorable members. You're welcome. Board and management of Gambia Radio and Television. We're concentrating on just points that came to our attention and rated high risk. Kindly turn to page eight for the first point. Page eight, eight. Of the management letter. Okay. Eight. eight. Absence of risk management framework and department. The company does not have a business risk management framework and a risk management department relevant to the financial reporting mm -hmm. and its business operations. Mm -hmm. Implication, considering the size of the corporation, this indicates a weakness in the internal control process. Recommendation, management should ensure that a documented business risk manual is available to guide and strengthen the corporation's Excuse internal. Excuse me, I think uh, the report we are having is mm -hmm. slightly different from yours. Yeah, I think they combine the yeah, page eight. Management letter. Management yes, management letter. 
How did you give it to them? Did you print it the uh, same way? Page 8 here, the observation we have is 3.2, non-movement of receivables. You are at oh. the accounting issues section. It should be... No, it should even be continue. No, this is anyway. the management letter we have. Can I have... Ours is slightly account? different from yours. Yeah. I don't know where the page is. The one you are talking, I think that is page five. It's the page five of what we have. Oh, sorry, page five. It's page five, huh? Yes. Exactly. It's page five. Yeah, it's me. Sorry about that. Okay. Yes, I apologize for that. Page five. Okay. Do you want me to go over that point again? Yes, yes. Okay. Absence of risk management framework and department. The corporation does not have a business risk management framework and a risk management department relevant to financial reporting and its business operations. Considering the size of the corporation, this indicates a weakness in the internal control process. Management should ensure that a de documented business risk manual is available to guide and strengthen the corporation's internal control. So the next point that is also rated high risk is on page six. Yes, the next page. Rece yes, um, receivables 3.1. During our audit of the receivable account balance, we noted a difference of 2.2 million between our expected receivable balance of 25 million and the GL balance of 27.3 million dollars. Upon further investigation, we noted that the difference was as a result of non-reversal of accrued revenues, although advice on GSM collection summary was received from GRA. We also noted that customers with credit balances totaling $19,000 were also included in the receivable listing as the detail below. That's the table. Um, Additionally, as part of our audit procedures, we sent receivable confirmation to a sample of customers. However, we are yet to receive repri replies from the customers um, detailed in the table below. Implications? Although this was adjusted for after our audit, the difference noted above could result in misstatement of the receivable and revenue balances recorded in the financial statements. The inclusion of credit balances in receivable risk listing results in understatement of the receivable balance recorded in the financial statements. The absence of confirmations re replies limit our audit work in obtaining third party independent confirmation. Um, the next point is on page eight. That is also rated high non-movement of receivable balances. From our audit of receivables, we noted the following. Credit control and impairment policies and procedures were not maintained. Aged debtors report was not provided for our review. List of receivable balances presented below were not moving and unlikely to be settled as at year end. However, impairment was not recognized on these balances. Um, they are detailed in the table below. Implication, the absence of credit control and impairment policies and procedures increases the risk of unpaid invoices and bad debt. Without the aged debtors report, it would be difficult for management to identify and follow up on overdue invoices. Not recognizing impairment on overdue invoices results in overstatement of the receivable balance reported in the financial statement. Recommendations. Management should develop credit control and impairment policies in order to improve cash flow and minimize the risk of unpaid invoices and bad debts. With the aged debtors report, this will facilitate keeping track of the overdue balances and recovery efforts and collection. To fairly reflect the balance of account receivables in the financial statements, management should recognize impairment on the bad and doubtful balances. The next point is also rated high and is on page nine. Social Security Housing and Finance Co Corporation confirmation difference. As part of our audit procedures, we sent confirmations to the corporation supplier and noted a difference from the confirmation reply received from SSHFC. 
The confirmation included a payable balance of $1.8 million, equivalent to $37.7 million from SSHFC, which was omitted from GRTS payable records. Upon further inquiry, GRTS explained that this amount represents the investment of a satellite project by the government of the Gambia through the Ministry of Finance and Economic Affairs, MUFIA. This investment was financed through a loan from Trust Bank using SSHFC as a guarantor. This was recognized as a capital grant and is fully amortized in the books of the corporation. However, evidence to support this uh, Evidence to support that this is a grant or loan was not provided for our review. Implication. The omission of this balance is material and could indicate a misstatement in the payable balance recorded in the financial statement. The absence of supporting documents makes it difficult to determine management's basis for recognizing the asset as a grant. Recommendation. Management should engage SSHFC and reconcile this balance. Additionally, the corporation should engage their legal counsel and seek legal advice. Supporting documents should be filed for all grants recognized. The next page is on page the next point is on page 10, also rated high. Payable confirmations. Based on our audit procedures in testing the corporation's liabilities. We sent payable confirmation to a sample of the corporation's suppliers. However, we are yet to receive replies for the suppliers listed in the table below. Implication, the absence of confirmation replies limit our audit work and make it difficult to confirm the valuation of these payable balances. This is an indication that the payable balance recorded in the financial statements might be misstated. Recommendation. Management should make follow-ups on these payable confirmations for our review. Management should investigate and reconcile for, um, for the differences noted. Yeah. Um, on the observation, I um, skipped the difference that was noted. Um, that, say, that reads also, based on the confirmation received, we noted the difference below. From Gamsel, the balance recorded in the books of the corporation is $3.8 million, and the confirmation, um, confirmation received um, recorded a balance of $4.4 million, with a difference of $555,000. Um, page 11, lack of supporting documents. The sample highlighted below were selected for testing during our audit. However, we were not provided with the relevant supporting documents. Um, the exceptions are detailed in the table below. Implication. Lack of adequate supporting documents makes it difficult to ascertain the accuracy, occurrence, and completeness of the transaction and whether the right treatment was applied in processing such transactions. Recommendation, all transactions should be accompanied by adequate third party supporting documents, and all documents should be properly kept and readily available for review. Um, the next section is the prior year ML points. Um, however, we are also not the auditors in the prior year. Okay, you want me to go? Oh. But the. Okay. Okay. Yes. During the period under review, we noted the corporation generated an amount of $1.1 million from cell site rentals to other telecom companies. Upon our review on the invoices against the approved charges, we noted that the corporation has been charging the same rental amount to other telecom companies since 2009, making it almost site rental charges in consultation with the board with a view to increase the rental charges for a more favorable return to the corporation. Um, the next point that is not implemented is on page 15. 
property plant and equipment. A review was conducted on the safeguarding of key fixed assets of the corporation, such as the building and the TV and radio equipment. We noted there was no insurance coverage on the following asset categories, building and TV radio. Recommendation, insurance coverage should be assessed and effected by management on key assets of the corporation in order to minimize the risk of high financial losses in the event of an unfore unforeseen circumstance. The next point that is also not implemented is on page 17. Donation from state of Qatar. We noted from the senior management minutes that there was a donation of the state of the art TV equipment worth over 200,000 US dollars from the state of Qatar. Upon our review on the financial statements, we noted the material value of this donation was not recorded in the financial statements of GRJS as of 31st December 2019. Upon inquiry on the reason for not capturing, management confirmed that due to it being obsolete items, the donation was not captured. We have then expected GRTS board to approve the non-recognition of the items due to being obsolete, but there was no board approval from the board. Recommendation, management should ensure the board approves the non-recognition of this donation, which is filed for future referencing and verification. The next point is on page 19. Information technology. Upon our review on the IT systems and management aspect of the corporation, we requested for the IT policy and procedure manual, but it was not provided for our review. Recommendation. We recommend that management should look into developing the IT policy and procedure manual for the corporation, which will further improve on the overall efficiency and on safeguarding of IT assets and the safeguarding of information within the IT system of the corporation. The next one is on non-moving of receivables. During our review on the total receivables from television and radio, we noted an amount of $1.6 million, which has not moved over 12 months. Furthermore, based on our audit sample, we noted that there was no correspondence in file to show evidence of follow-up by GRJS with regard to the following non-moving balances. The customers are highlighted in the table below. We further reviewed the accounting policies with regard to receivables and we noted that the company does not have a provision, provision in policy with regard to receivables in line with good accounting practice. Those are the issues that, um, that came to noted in the management letter.